Okay, so first of all, you're gonna start off by joining GGOS. The link is, will be in the description. You're gonna go into down. Also, just so you know, I don't take any responsibility for this. Like, if anything happens to your PC, damages it, like, I don't, don't even ask me questions because I'm not like good at this shit, man. Like, I'm not a professional. I'm just doing what I was told, kind of, I guess. Okay, so. What you're gonna do is you're gonna download the thing from Mega. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, there, I, I was watching Daddy Hate Food, but um, after you do that, you go on Rufus. Yeah. .ie. That's the website. So you download it. You run it. No. You press like you get your like fucking what is it called USB. You select your boot selection. Okay, I'm pretty sure it needs to be at least eight or four gigabytes i'm not sure but you choose this then you select you choose this open and then you just press start to boot into like the what is it called like the ufi hardware thing you do you press this you press power and then shift click restart okay so my camera is kind of broken but don't mind so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press troubleshoot and ufi framework settings and then restart so this thing right here is called BIOS, so I'm in BIOS right now, so you're gonna press boot, so boot, then you're gonna go to boot option number one and choose your, um, what is it called, your USB, so then you're gonna press it, press exit, oh. and save changes and reset, okay. So once you're here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press I accept and press next. So basically, this is the drive where I have all my stuff saved, so I don't want to uninstall that. So I'm gonna delete all of those and keep this. So this is like my secondary drive where I have all my shit stored. So I'm gonna choose the like this one which I just cleared. Press next, and then we're just gonna wait for this to complete. <laughs> okay, so uh, <coughs> after that's done, you choose your language. I want the US keyboard laid down. I'm gonna add Georgian later, so. Uh, like this step is basically just waiting, so uh, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna need my PCR. Uh, R, R. What the fuck is this? Okay, there we go. Okay, so R. Who needs a password? That's for lame people. I don't care about my privacy, so now you just wait for this, oh, and I don't want to die already because I've been waiting so long for this, it's like 3am or something, but whatever. Okay, finally, it's booted up, so as you can see, this is Le Epico Windows, so you saw that CMD open, so it's still like setting up, see, so it's gonna restart, so look, so it's gonna do this, this is very normal, you're not throttled or anything, so... Uh, Okay, so um, if I keep opening this lock, it's like doing new stuff. So it's like optimizing stuff, right? So right now it enables MSI mode. If I close this and reopen it, it's already on leftover bullet removed. So you just gotta wait. Don't do anything during during this. So yeah, you're about to be signed out. Setup complete. You press close and it's gonna restart itself so restart scheduled if it says that already you know it's going good so also i have this monitor plugged into my cpu and this onto my gpu and as you can see this didn't turn on because i don't have my gpu driver installed yet so i'm gonna teach you guys how to do that okay so now that it's done installing as you can see i need my gpu driver because i can't handle 50 hertz so you go into the setup folder it should be on your desktop automatically so install browser so I use Chrome, so I'm gonna install Chrome. This one has Firefox, it has Chrome, and it has Brave. So I'm gonna install Chrome, because that's the one I use, so uh, yeah. Also, let's see, so install GPU driver. So, so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go here. You need, here, um, yeah. So this is, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you need to turn this on. So it's called NVIDIA GPU drivers, and what it does, and it basically you can optimize your GPU driver. So 
I'm just gonna honestly do the best version because I don't really care. So I'm gonna do recommended next. Actually, I want to. Okay, good. Not bad. So I'm gonna do the same thing now. So install best driver for my hardware. That's what I'm gonna do. So just wait for it. So this says my current GPU, so GTX 1070 right here. Then I'm gonna press next. Sorry for my phone camera also. So you press recommended, press next. And now you just wait for the setup. Okay, so install like install it and downloading. Now you just gotta install it. So copy setting from this image. So disable Intel or yeah, whatever. Um perform a clean installation. Then we need show expert tweaks. Disable driver telemetry. Enable message signal interruptions. Disable HDCP and then turn this on. So this fucking image is in the folder as well. So ne now I'm just gonna press next and it's gonna pop up with a, um, what is it called, NVIDIA installer. So now we're just gonna wait, yeah, so right here. So you press install and this opens. So just wait for this now. So agree and continue, express. So, like, this monitor is still blank, but it's on, as you can see right now. Yeah, it's blanking. So, um, you're just gonna have to wait for it to install. So, uh, it's done now. So, my monitor is still off. Restart now. So, okay, it's had a little battery pop up, but after this restarts, my second monitor should all already work. Okay, so I installed OBS now, so I'm gonna go into my NVIDIA control panel. I'm gonna get my vibrance all the way up because it looks way better that way. And I'm gonna set my monitor to 120 hertz. Okay, so now that I've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into, um, what's it called? Cooler Quick Um but I'm too dumb, how to, okay. So, um, programs I don't need, so Windows tweaks, that's what I need. Better, I don't need this, because I already did this. So, like, do this if you need this, but I'm gonna do the bloating script. So, I'm gonna launch um, this. So, just wait for it. So, yes, so. So, if you press yes, what this does is it deblots it, but if you installed the OS I get, I don't think there should be anything to uninstall. But uh, yeah, okay, so do you want to stop it? Yes. So, that, okay, do you want to? Yes, I don't need one. I don't think it's even installed. Yeah, so, a lot of stuff here is already gonna be done because you're on an optimized OS. So. That just restarted the. Do you want to unpin all? No, because I don't know if you want to unpin anything. Sure, let's install, what is it called, framework or something? Uh, I'll install and uh, restart later. So, now it's just finished, so I'm gonna run another script. So, best PC, local disk D, cooler, and Windows tweaks. So, now I'm pretty sure I can run this. So, I'm just gonna wait for it. So yeah, this is it. So this is, I don't, I don't know if this is coolers, but uh, basically we're gonna do essential tweaks. So you just wait for that. I'm pretty sure this works through is chocolatey, but all I need from here is um, Notepad++, Google Chrome I already have. So I'm gonna get WinRAR if there is, there is it. So I'm just gonna install that myself, I guess. So um, after this is done, I'm just gonna shut this down. So yeah. Dark mode. So let's go. Uh, here, I'm just gonna shut it down actually. So. Okay. so that's the set of graphics. Oh, this is for Minecraft already. Oh, this. So, I'm just gonna open instructions here. 
so what this does is basically um what is it called it's like fucking turns off mouse acceleration so your mouse works through muscle memory i know i'm bad at explaining but i'm gonna do this through home so nvidia drivers let me see if there's um what is it called okay so they don't have i'm just gonna do it through obs again i mean hone again so there's really nothing i can do so i'm just gonna download the new climb from here and then i'm gonna get to hone i guess i somehow uninstalled 7 zip or it just came with it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get to this to my d folder so if I need it again, I'll have it here. So home power plan. I'm gonna use the GGOS power plan actually. So this is optimizing your RAM. So I have 16, so I'm just gonna do 16. Okay, if it doesn't work or does something bad for you, just do reset to default. Time resolution, this is good because it's, I'm pretty sure it like makes your latency less. So that's good. Oh, this is the one where I have to install a lot of fucking drivers. So I'm just gonna wait for that. So, um, I'm gonna press install and everything here, so there's gonna be like shit tons of pop-ups though. Don't get scared, this is like just visual C++ and stuff, and installing like all the stuff it needs to run. Like this is actually good for your PC, cause some apps, like you might get DLL errors, and like this, installing this will like patch it as well. So you just wait for that. Also, I'm gonna not let Chrome fun in the background, so thank you. Nvidia settings. So I'm pretty sure, yeah. So this will automatically change my Nvidia settings. There we go. So now my Nvidia settings are optimized. MSI Afterburner is for optimizing, which I'm gonna not record because I'm not sure if I do it correctly either. Device cleanup. I'm pretty sure it's already cleaned up. But I'm gonna select all file. Wait, no, remove selected. Yeah, this will just do. So then I'm gonna go into internet. This actually boosted my internet by a lot. When I did all of this, so I mean, this actually really helped my internet. The bloat, I don't really need it, but why not? It. So then, mouse fix. So this is why I use this one, so I can just run the bat and it automatically does it. I'm pretty sure, or that's what I do. I don't know what's going on here. It's so I'm just gonna run this. Okay, just press OK on everything. All right, there we go. So disable services. I don't really need this because it's probably already disabled. So yeah, it's just on the course. I'm pretty sure. So now um, I'm gonna install the new client here. Okay, also, so there's a thing. People say that you should change this to like half your RAM. It's false, okay? Like, um, I was told that, like, it doesn't really change a shit. Because Minecraft never takes up, like, 8 gigabytes of RAM or more than, like, 3 I hide, let's say. So, I'm just gonna wait for this to install. And then we're gonna optimize it. Okay, so, um, Lunar is still installing, but GGOS is the Discord you use for, what is it called? For the OS, and it also has its tweak, so... This is the power plan, you just run this, I guess. Then I'm gonna go to battery settings, additional power settings. So it's on GGOS desktop gaming, as you can see. Uh, it automatically installs as well as, I guess, but uh, yeah. So this is some um, BCD edits. So let's see, so for possibly better FPS, but worse input, you can do this. So. Don't do this, I guess, if you play Fortnite or something, for possibly better input, but worse FPS. So I'm gonna do this now, because I'm not really focused on playing, like, Minecraft, so I don't I don't really need much FPS. So, um, let me make sure I did it correctly. So, yeah. So I did it. Um, let's see if there's anything else. So I don't know why, but this sometimes happens to me where Lunar gets stuck, so I usually just restart it, and that fixes it. It should launch normally now. So, just wait for this. Yeah, so it's not stuck on the same thing anymore, as you can see. You just gotta wait through this, and this is basically like the last step. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna turn off the music instantly, then lower this, lower this. So, what you do then is you just like set up your hotkeys and stuff. So, XC, then 69, then we go down. See, there we go. So, what I do now usually is I just create a new like creative world. So, the recording might lag a second here. Because, like, I'm on display capture. Okay. So, as you can see right now, let me just. So, FPS. So, probably VSync right now. So, yeah. So, this is like right after I just restarted. I have OBS open. I still haven't reset my Minecraft. This is like unoptimized memory client. So, I get 600 frames, kind of. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out of this and we're gonna go here and go to game specifics, optify and run this as administrator. I'm gonna play on point date, so I'm gonna press two. Okay, so I don't know why, but it sometimes goes here instead of going into the actual dot minecraft folder. So what I usually do is I just get grab this here. This is really the only thing. Okay, right. So you just like Copy everything from here. Key of Zoom, what the fuck is that? Alright, whatever. So, you just copy all of that, go into here, and paste it in, save it. So, that should already load the settings in, so now I'm gonna launch Minecraft. Okay, so, let me client open. So, I'm just gonna wait for this. Also, you, um, you don't need Minecraft installed, I usually don't. So, I'm just gonna log into my account. 